You're not going anywhere, old man. I leave titanium coated armor plating. Nice. Let you know exactly where to shoot. How did I miss this? Lucius, are you there? Yes, Mr. Wayne. Why did you create an armor with a weak spot? You're fired! Want to play with your DC collectibles all Arkham Knight? Then get your Batman Arkham Knight figures at BigBadToyStore.com. Link is in the description. Oh, man, kids. It's time for your what up big kids, here's your big review, the Batman Arkham Knight DC Collectibles Arkham Knight video game action figure. Here we got the nice packaging that we got from the Batman Arkham Knight series with a nice window display box that says Arkham Knight on the front right there, Batman Arkham Knight. Warning you want to choke on your Arkham Knight because you'll have a whole night of <coughs> The side of the packaging has a nice schematic of the Arkham Knight while saying Arkham Knight he was the second in the wave one. Top of the packaging has Batman's chest with a bad emblem. The back of the packaging has the schematic of Arkham Knight while showing all the other figures in the wave ones. Finally we got Arkham Knight. He is in Justice. He is the Arkham Knight. And here we got the Batman Arkham Knight DC Collectibles Arkham Knight video game figure. Another awesome figure in this amazing way we got him from DC Collectibles. I'm loving their Arkham Knight uh, figures and this one is no exception. Let's take a closer look at him. Now I want to give a spoiler alert to anyone that hasn't beat Batman Arkham Knight because I will reveal who the identity of the Arkham Knight is. So spoiler alert. I really do like the head sculpt. It would have been nice if it was kind of a little bit translucent. Kind of like how it was in the game. I really love the sculpting all around the figure. DC Collectibles has really had some top-notch work. You can see just all the armor plating and it's really military suit. I love the gauntlets on here. It's just so freaking cool and his gloves. The paint is just amazing. All that red makes sense now, huh? Belt right here, just the pouches, and just the amount of detail on there is just so freaking nice. He has some green right there. I don't know why that is there. I don't know if that's paint. And these little grenades, just the whole outfit. I wouldn't mind cosplaying this guy. For articulation, Arkham Knight's head can fully rotate. It can only look up just a little bit. It can look down quite a bit. His arms do fully rotate, but uh, you kind of have to work with the shoulder pad, which is a nice soft plastic. So it it does you just have to move around goes in and out that much bend at the elbow as well as rotate at the elbow oh um, uh, yeah full 90 degrees rotates at the wrist as well as going down he has a upper ab swivel that fully rotates it pivots a little bit forward and back but he does have an out crunch the red hood figure actually had that too can go back quite a bit it can go forward really good his legs do go forward and back just a little bit they go in and out only that much they rotate the upper part of the leg bend at two points at the knee and his ankles pivot forward and back and and he does have an ankle pivot side to side. Arkham Knight does come with this really cool rifle. This will actually become his dual pistols when he becomes the Red Hood. He even has the Red Hood logo, which really makes sense now. I do wish he did have double jointed elbows to make it a little easier to do the double handed poses, but you can work with it. It just won't be as natural as I would like it to be. Batman, Arkham Knight, roll credits. Size comparison time. Now, Arkham Knight stands a little above seven inches tall. You can see he's in great scope with the other Arkham Knight figures, including Batman. Batman and Red Hood. He is taller than average six inch figures like the Dark Knight Movie Masters Batman or the Batman v Superman Batman. Now DC Collectibles is killing it with their Batman Arkham Knight figures. They have amazing paint apps and a sculpting as well as having the best articulation we got from the previous Batman Arkham game figures. And if you're a big fan of the Batman Arkham Knight game, then definitely you gotta pick up the main bad guy he is in the title. However, if you have the Red Hood figure and you just want to keep it traditional Batman hero, anti-hero villains, then stay with your Red Hood figures. I do like the design of the Arkham Knight and I definitely recommend these figures. For more, check out my website at SeanLexLong.com as well as HughesNerd.net. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. I'm Sean Long, Mayor Live Long and Love Life. You'll never guess who I am, old man, until it's too late. Jason, I know it's you. You'll never- Wait, 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 wait what? How did, how, how did you guess, old man? Crap. Because I'm the world's greatest detective. And because of Batman! Wow, I love the new armor! The first order has made some improvements. Can the armor actually take a hit? Let's find out. Shoot me! Nope! Wow, they should call it first 